Oh, you've arrived. No, no, only an extra couple of hours. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. <sighs> so we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Ah, well, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. <laughs> That's the trailblazing life for ya. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Shall we, my benefactors? Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. What can he do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? Yes and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. Be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace, he'll follow it all the way to the end. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, Deeting will find her. But before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Tell Deeting to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. We need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? From inside the pilot house came the general's battle cry. Traces? Where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. Using the environment to hide her traces. 
Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around? Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Ting Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. Foxy and Lady pass by? Oh, that's a heck of a question, miss. I'd say nearly one in every two people passing through Starskiff Haven is Foxian. We might have seen the lady you're looking for, but we wouldn't have batted an eyelid. <laughs> He's not lying. Still, if you, uh, describe her a little, maybe it'll jog our memory. Pretty! Well, that's too generic for a Foxian. Even if you don't count the ladies, there are plenty of gents that fit that description like a glove. As tedious as it is, I'm afraid you'll have to, uh, describe her in more detail. Please don't say two ears, one tail, huh? I can put my hand on my heart and say I remember this fine lady. Nonsense! I've been stood next to you this whole time, and I don't remember anyone like her. Well, I may not have seen her in person, but her beauty feels like a long-lost acquaintance. How wonderful to be reunited with her after so long. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. My friend here appears to have, uh, lost touch with reality. Are you two professional time wasters or something? Please accept our apologies. Me and my partner do double act comedy in the Sleepless Earl. The tea house round the corner? As you can probably guess, with all these curfews and lockdowns, we've hardly had an audience the past few days. We figured we'd find a spot on the street and do some rehearsal, just to stop us getting rusty. Then you guys swung by asking for this Foxian lady, so we thought we'd give you a little bit of improv. Free of charge, I might add. Stay calm, stay calm. I did see the girl you're looking for. She took a turn from here into Star Watcher Avenue. I'd suggest you head over that way. She might still be there. I find it hard to trust anything you've just said. From inside the pilot house came the general's battle cry. Have you seen this lady? So you know each other. She ordered a tusk pier wrap and went on her way. She was just here. Give me a second. Oh, she was heading towards Stargazer Navalia. That's my guess. Quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. Who'd have 
thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet. Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. You don't seem to worry too much about the Xianzhou, Miss Ting Yun. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. But just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'd love to help, but there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Getting Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Ting Yun. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before Ting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Kafka is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. It must have been Kafka. She's got a scary sword. The moon shines on the truth. Never stop thinking. A blade of moonlight. Don't move. You'll do. Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. like clay. Mr. Yang, any idea? I think it might be shipbuilding material left over from the assembly line, though I can't tell exactly what the substance is. I don't think it's connected to Kafka. The moon shines on the truth. <laughs> For the field. Good 
lunar flame. A blade of moonlight. Zero points. Next. Something. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka? Where are you going, benefactors? Our priority now is to find anything that could lead us to Kafka. I know, I know! Let's go and have a look! Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. For the fear of the mediocre. For the fear of the mediocre. The moon shines on the truth. Sink! A blade of moonlight. Eternal melody. In the lunar flame. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. <laughs> Need I teach someone a lesson? Zero points. Next. Stand down and I'll spare you. Never stop thinking. 
fail. Get out. your knowledge. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Never stop thinking. Fleeting light, roaring flood. Zero points. Next. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident or on purpose? Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag. And I think we're the punchline, uh, making us run around like jerks. I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering, come and get me. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka! These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead.
Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Stay away. I'm bleeding blood. More blood. Don't move, okay? A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? All things are as one. A blade of moonlight. Never stop thinking. Ugh, pick it up a notch. Not so fast! The moon shines on the truth. <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. We need to think of a way to cut her off! Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts. The moon shines on the truth. Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. Uh, I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> it 
Best for me, naturally. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. Need I teach someone? Never stop thinking. <laughs> You'll do. Try harder. <laughs> Why don't you? I'll play the best guy. <laughs> like that, huh? You can't kill me. Zoning out. Mediocre. I can help. Ready? I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. Pay attention. See you later. Tedious. A blade of moonlight. I'll go easy. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Let's play hide and seek. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? All will be revealed. In lunar flame! Zero points! Next! Never stop thinking! Fail! Get out! <laughs> Something for everybody. Like that, huh? Done playing for today. Watch your feet. <laughs> Every petal in life's garden will be swept away by the wind of time. There's more to life than drawing breath. You'll do. <laughs> Not so fast. Feeling a little dizzy? Need I teach someone a lesson? All will be revealed. In lunar flame! Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. <laughs> S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Ready? How does that feel? 
sink. A blade of moonlight. Don't worry, I'll go easy. Don't move, okay? You hold some academic value. Pay attention. Every petal in life's garden will be swept away by the wind of time. Zoning out. I can help. Not so fast. Why don't you stay and play for a while? Let's pick it up a notch. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Something for everybody. Watch your feet. Like that, huh? Oh, I'm Let's play questions. hide and seek. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? Never stop thinking. <laughs> Fail! Get out! A blade of moonlight. Zero points. Next. <laughs> Fail! Get out! Attention. Oh. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omniscient. Fushuin, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Fushuin, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Far-flung friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she... speech is offensive to you, you need but say. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the General promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can 
I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Let's disembark here, benefactors. in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? <sighs> no need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. We've got ten fingers. May as well use them. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starskiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron Crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. That's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. <laughs> I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. <sighs> you think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this delve collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the Commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay. We trust you. <laughs> oh, I think I offended someone again. Uh, don't start. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought...
thought she was pretty icy. <laughs> Don Hung's not icy. He's nerdy. Okay, enough chit-chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah! Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. <laughs> <laughs>